Let's beat some players adopting the big of plus hard forehand style in the Tour 7 of Tennis Clash, a sports game made by Wi-Fi Studios. Okay, let's start with the first match. I'm going to repeat a bit the recommendations that I had already offered in the previous best tips video to beat power serve plus strong forehand players in this uh, video. So the principle is um, first to try and return drop shots soft shots that fall near the net in your opponent's court side whenever possible because those big servers have low agility most of the time. Very few of them have built decent agility to counter drop shots. And because their backhand is weak, well this was nothing to, to do here because it was an ace, because their backhand is weak in favor of the fair forehand's attribute which uh, becomes hard. Wh what I do is I try and hit on their backhand whenever the opportunity appears. Go. Okay, here I wrong foot my opponent with my serve. Yeah, there was nothing to do here. Sometimes they, they, uh, there's nothing to do, so you have to count on your serve to score some points that will help you win and that's better of course when you have a decent serve okay let's see now all right hit on the backhand Oh my gosh, that was a complete failure of serve there. Yes, yeah, served, return, and then on the backhand. Boom! And sometimes just wrong foot your opponent. Afterwards, because their return will be very weak from their backhand, what I generally do is I insist a bit first on the backhand. Just like uh, the point that I, I, I play right away. Uh, some seconds away to make them think that I will keep aggressing their backhand and make them try and anticipate a hit coming on their backhand and then I hit a big forehand down the line towards the other side of the court so as to kind of um, wrong foot my opponent to outflank him or her completely so be careful of course as Victoria and Leo two of the most used characters for this uh, big serve and hard forehand style. Well, they are left-handed, so their backhand is all the character's forehand. Keep that in mind. Yeah, the top drop return work it perfectly here. Keep that in mind when you try and hit the backhand of these characters. Drop return as well here. That works very, very fine against those low agility players. Okay. Drop hit there as well. That's pretty easy if you can return. If you can return, I say that. Once you have returned, most of the job has been done. You have done 90% of the job. Where sometimes the serve your opponent is just too powerful and you can't do nothing, of course. Otherwise it would be too easy if you can return all the time. So here another drop return. And because the uh, agility of your opponent, of your big server opponent is very low, if you have a decent serve, that's very often enough to hit an ace. Here I have only 48 which is just a, just a decent serve. It's not a big serve. Okay, so whether your serve is decent or weak, you can try now and then to surprise those big servers having low agility by making a drop serve. I don't, I don't use that drop serve much, but um, because you, you, don't, you don't overdo that. Because your opponent may get prepared to that type of service, drop serve. Okay. As you can see here, a drop return and then directly to the other side. So here again, it's another match versus the, the, uh, the same opponent. 
that's not the same match, okay? That's an, a second match that I play against him. Obviously, if you green, if both of you green on the same tour, you're going to meet each other a lot sooner or later. Okay, so a lot of times those big servers will try and anticipate you hitting a return on uh, their backhand. So they won't place accordingly to receive on their forehand. If you can't have enough time to see it, or if you see that pattern in the way of placing the character, uh, then try and hit the complete other side to surprise and wrong foot them. I have done that several times. Okay, that's good. Things that going fine so far, and it is the golden tiebreaker seven zero. We're talking about pattern. I try to analyze a bit how often an opponent tends to return on which zone on my side, and then place my character accordingly to deliver a good and accurate return, which is often a drop shot. That wouldn't hurt my opponent. Yeah, the ballistic. Mm, not so useful in cards, but anyway. We don't have any choice. We just have to green <laughs> and get those useless cards. You will hit more effective cross court or down the line shots when you start to see your opponent's path turn. Yeah, I use a drop serve and it worked. But generally, I don't, I don't do the drop serve several times, you know. Um, in a row, I mean, yeah, the drop return that works well as well. And sometimes, because your drop drop return is just too weak, it's, it's, the ball becomes very easy to hit by your opponent. And fortunately, here, yeah, my opponent committed an, an awful and forced error. Okay, here we go. Well, of course, it's easier to counter those players adopting the big serve plus hard forehand build with an all-rounder style like the one that I'm using right now. Decent HLD, serve, decent serve, decent backhand, and hard forehand. Or with a big serve and big forehand that that's better to use those two builds than to use an aggressive baseliner build which has a low serve, definitely. Because we'll be, you will be aggressive on the return after your low serve. I include the big serve style to counter even if I understand that if you want to see this kind of video to know how to counter big server better, well, that's because you don't want to play with a big serve build in the first place. But um, I count it in because it's um it's a pleasure to beat a big serve plus hard forehand player you know with his own style using the his style okay i i have wrong foot that my opponent here he she didn't expect me to play that uh, that zone to hit that zone on the serve okay sometimes you can't do anything Especially when the opponent is using the Toro Twine, which is a very powerful string, a very good string to hit critical hits. Um, you have a critical tier 2, and you have quick catch. And when you succeed in hitting a very powerful forehand or big hand accurately, I mean, not like the one that my opponent just hit, well, it gives an outstanding forehand. Or backhand, of course. But well, the throw twine is is, um, is rare to find in bags, and most of the time you will have the swallow poly, so you can stick with the swallow poly. That's fine too. You will have a critical tier one only, but that's enough to counter the those uh, big serve and hard forehand. Yeah, that forehand was very hard. Well, about the string, talking about strings, 
Uh, but the string to use to counter those big servers, I think that they are not so critical. You know, it's rather the way you place your character, in my point of view, I mean. It's the way you place your character near the baseline uh, to receive the, the serve, near or, you know, not too far, but to, to avoid the drop serves from your opponent, but not too close. To receive the serve, well, the, this the zone where you place your character is critical. Yeah, low agility, and that's an easy ace for me there. If your cycle of agility is too far from where the serve of your opponent hits, you will serve an ace almost all the time, a winning serve, even with a long catch here to string. So here again, watch and analyze the pattern of your opponent when he or she serves. Try and see if he or she tries to diversify the serve spots, or if they tend to serve almost always cross-court, if they try most of the time to hit the center mark of the court, or if they always try to serve on your weaker hand, there are a lot of patterns to analyze, to observe, okay? Well, it may take you two or three serves from your opponent um, to figure it out. So when the match lasts longer, you will generally have more time to analyze and to come back to win the match. But if you you want to give yourself a little boost to catch your opponent's hard forehand, well, of course, you can try the swallow pulley or the choker court. But here again, you have to anticipate a new way. If you don't anticipate uh, well enough, you will be far from where your opponent is going to hit. <laughs> yeah. She, yeah, she was moving all the time during my serve. Uh, trying to make me lose my focus, you know, and that was a bit irritating, but can't, when you can hit an ace while she's doing that, well, that's perfect. That's that's a real joy, you know, that's a real pleasure. You see? See how she's doing that all the time? Well, yeah, it was good to win against this kind of uh, opponents who, who don't know what is fair play. Even if I know that in the, g in the game you can do everything that you want, even using every mean to win, but I mean, it's it's not very, um, very cool. Well, I would also ha add that sometimes you have to be a bit lucky as well, hoping for your big serve opponent to make some unforced errors, including double faults. So that you can play with um, a bit less stress. That was accurate. Very nice forehand return from my opponent. Well, her serve is not so accurate. but And here, if you can hit the big return on her backhand, well, just do that. All oh, right. Okay, forehand cross court, that hurt me. Well, of course, everything I say is useless if your attributes are too low, of course, compared to your opponents. Uh, so if you're unlucky to be matched in lower tours with an un overpowered opponent who wants to practice his super big serve and hard forehand, and that you have low agility and or weak forehand and backhand, the only thing you can do is to pray for your opponent to commit a lot of double faults and other unforced errors, of course. Okay, I serve there on her backhand. And then I follow up with a big forehand in the corner of the court. Okay, inaccurate return here. Oh, that was a bad return. Sometimes I try to... That's why the bow goes out. I try to hit hard on the return. Too far change, you know. Not trying to drop shot. Um, to make some drop shot on the return all the time. Okay, that was a little error from my opponent. Mm, 
That's cool. Yeah. When you can do the drop shot, most of the job is done. And you can follow up with another drop shot to finish. So, yeah. That was cool. Well, that's it for this uh, session of training. I hope you enjoy watching me beat some players adopting the big serve plus hard forehand style in the Tour 7 of Tennis Clash, a sports game made by Wildlife Studios. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay365 to stay tuned for new videos of recommendations on Tennis Clash. Well, it's very hard, very, very rare to find the hammer card in a classic bag, in a Tour 7 classic bag. By the way, Thank you a lot for your support. Here's my lineup. You can see that I just need some cards now of the DeForge Epic card to f to have a better start, but it doesn't come. I will have to wait to be available in the store. See you soon on Gameplay 365. Bye bye.